Yes. I love the bizarre when files. When the trooper turned on his emergency lights, the driver made no reasonable attempt to pull over. She drove about a mile before leaving I, uh, Interstate 5 and stopping at an intersection. Uh, the trooper then told her over the loudspeaker to get off the road. She stayed put, though. The trooper then approached the driver's side window and told her to move off the road. She allegedly said she would not stop until she reached the Bank of America parking lot. The trooper told the driver to pull over a third time, and she said, I will not. I drive a Prius, and I'm not pulling over there. That was her excuse. And then he said, I, I wonder if I would stand up in a court of law. The trooper told her a fourth time, yes. according to his written report again, she refused, seeing that the driver would not cooperate. The trooper told her to step out of the vehicle. She said no and resisted, according to the report. He then forced her out. Perhaps you didn't hear this is a Prius. Uh, the, driver, the driver was unhappy. She said, I will own your bank account. I will own your house. You can see I can afford a Prius. The trooper asked her name, and she said, her. none of your business. Uh, the driver told the trooper that she would not pull over to the shoulder because her tires keep popping because her car is a Prius. <laughs> Well, see, that, that, that makes it sound like a, not a good car to own. Well, well tires keep popping, I would think. Yeah, you wouldn't want tires popping all the time. Yeah. Uh, the driver was arrested for investigation of failing to obey instructions. God only knows. See, <laughs> wow. I know you're with me on this. Uh, and that was you listen the big... to the police officer. Yeah. Even if you feel you're you're there's no reason for it, just follow what they're doing and then you, you can take it up later. Yep. Even if your tires are popping, uh, you will avoid something that, that can be more severe. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jump out and be like, like two or yeah. three. Uh, yesterday with the, the rain and the flooding in some areas. It was barely flooded in some of these areas. I didn't get home until about 7.30 again. You know, and then there's, there's dinner, there's time with the kids, and you know, and some things just kind of slip on past, and I'm sorry. medication they give me I can either take it every day as prescribed whether I need it or not but it's going to make me so groggy and so tired um, or what I've been trying to do or well, what I have found successful um, was to take the medication let's say if I know I'm gonna have ice cream that day uh, or that evening. I'll take it before we leave or before we go out. And that's the same thing, isn't it? Uh, or I would take one uh, as soon as I got home. Uh, you know, that helps. But then the next day, especially if it's a day where I've got something to do, where I'm driving, uh, you can feel how it's just 
making you tired all over. It's supposed to be relaxing one muscle, but it's relaxing all of them. And not in the fun way either. So, but THC, CBD, it's been proven time and time again, a long time ago, that uh, it's a great relief for intestinal cramping, intestinal distress. So, yeah, it helps. And it doesn't leave you feeling groggy the next day. So, let's get on the stick there, Jersey. Quit raping people on the uh, program to get it to get started it's it's like where I don't know I don't know it's like I want to be normal I want to be fine I want to be you know I want to be like everybody else I want to be able to go to bed and get six seven eight hours of sleep um, without worry without sleep being broken without you know, jumping awake at every sound I hear coming from the kid's room, checking the cameras to see if he's you know, having a seizure, wondering if I've missed any, you know, wondering if these things have or will eventually take a toll on his mental Abilities. Uh, I'm sure it's already wreaked havoc on his emotional state. You know, and these are it started when he was ten. You know, it was some real formidable years there. And you know, now we're entering another uh, cluster of, of important years you know, when a young man is learning to be a man. dystonia, uh, depression, mental illness. So many people will tell you, well, you look fine, but yeah, you see me. You see what you, you know, look at with your eyeballs. You don't see 
how I feel. You don't see what's going through my head. You don't see me crying out either out loud or to myself or in paper or you know, whatever you do for an outlet. Screaming and, and begging to be normal, to be fine, to be okay, to be fixed. Just, you know, it's not just, hey, you've never walked the, you know, put yourself in this person's shoes. You can wear my shoes. A lot of people can walk where I've walked and done what I've done. But it's when you um, live as that person, when you live, you know, you try to put yourself in their mind frame. You know, with chronic pain that you know, you can't. You know, it's it's hard for people to, to understand. If you uh, if you research cervical dystonia, you'll see where a lot of people who have it mention how so many people tell them, "Oh, what's in your head? You know, oh, no, you're fine. You didn't have an accident. You didn't get hurt. Or you look okay. Uh, you can't see you know, the brain sending the uh, incorrect signals." And they're both from PA, overworking these muscle areas. And my son has a shirt that says, you know, looks can be see deceiving. I don't look sick, and you don't look stupid. And it was underneath this uh, epilepsy awareness t-shirt. So, two, two beautiful things to always keep in mind. You know, put yourself in their shoes, and put yourself in their mind. Put yourself you know, in their mind frame. Think about the things that they may be going through that you can't see. You know, if we all did that, there'd be a lot more compassion in the world. Not to be confused with snowflakeism, or being just a flat out cis. Two years into a term, and y'all still trying to cry and whine about it. Listen, it is what it is. Did you die? <laughs> kind of thing. But, wow. People drive like total fucking idiots. Alright, I'm gonna jump off this for now, and uh, hopefully, I'll have uh, some more upbeatness to, uh, to share with you later on. If not, um, enjoy and welcome to my life spiraling into the crapper as I get older day by day. <laughs> but I'm going to work against it as often as I can.